VA disability cuts. Is Congress, the Congressional Budget Office, are they going to cut our VA disability benefits? No. In the video. Let me explain. Last week, Congress, the House, started pushing suggestions on what they may or may not want to cut. Some of this stuff is based on what the Congressional Budget Office um, came up with probably six weeks ago. So I get it. You're excited about VA benefits and learning everything you can. And if you're interested in the VA claims process, check out my boot camp. Link's in the description down here. But the way this process works, petitions are good, organizations are good, all that kind of stuff. But the process that we currently have in place works just fine. So we have congressional reps. So I'll leave a link below. You just reach out to your congressional reps and write all of them. And I'll even put something below in the description that you could copy and paste in there, you know? Dear so-and-so congressman, last year I reached out to you and supported you on your last campaign, blah, blah, blah. Uh, good job with the PACT Act last year. This one, not so much. I do not support you, uh, you know, reducing veterans' benefits in any way. It's that simple. This is the uh, this is the way the system works. If enough Congress people hear from veterans, this isn't a good idea. You know, they know they're going to lose our votes, so they need our votes. Whoever, right? And this happens all over Congress. Every you know, a new issue comes up all the time. Generally speaking, Congress knows that this is a dumb idea, uh, but they're floating it around and that's basically all it is. So what do you do now? What do you do about it? You, you email, email is probably the easiest way to do it. Want to write a letter, do that. You contact your congressman and let them know, you know, what your thoughts are and who you're not going to be supporting if uh, they support any kind of veterans benefits cuts. So that's what we do. Now let's talk about what they're proposing. So I've seen lots of proposals, and that's all they are at this point. Nothing has changed. Um, this is like, uh, I guess they call it, like how the sausage is made. It, I'm aware, you know, I'm aware of what's going on. I'm aware of things, and I shoot emails to my congressmen. Sometimes they answer me back. Sometimes they don't. Whatever. Actually, usually they think combat, Craig, you know, so they respond. Somebody at their office does. So I don't want to know all the details. This is the House Republicans based on this debt ceiling thing. This sausage is going to get very sloppy. It's a debt ceiling thing. This is just the Republicans. Wait till the Democrats start getting involved. Then the fighting really starts happening. That's why nobody can pass a clean bill. Oh, we want to do infrastructure. And then there's like 300 addendums to it. And they slide it in there at midnight. This has been going on for years with Congress. So let your congressperson know where it's going, where you want them to go. And that's what you can do. As far as what's going on now, what the Republicans are uh, you know, proposing is going to be nothing like what actually gets done. And none of that has anything to do with reducing veterans' disability payments. All right, let's think about this here. So last year, Congress passed a bill, the PACT Act, right? Lots of hiring, lots of claims, lots of presumptive conditions. Now it's, uh-oh, it's debt ceiling time. They're literally going to have to undo what they just did a year ago. Like they fought over it and took forever to get the PACT Act going. They're not going to undo all that stuff. They may propose to undo some of it, but again, none of it is going to be our monthly benefit payments. Don't take my word for it. Be proactive and make sure your congressmen, women, all of them know where you stand because that's what we fought for. This is, you know, our democracy in action.